because it's just what it is. I need to cool off. Yeah, we need to cool off. And I need to fucking just cool off. Yeah. So let's just cool <laughs> off while we can, guys, because I'm coming in too hot. What's up? I'm Chris Stefano, a.k.a. Chrissy D, a.k.a. King Gay. You're listening to the Bay Ridge Boys, History Hyenas. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Uh, unfortunately, I'm just going to be honest with you. You just missed what is going to be available for our upper tier members in the Patreon. Jesus had a different idea where that episode yeah. was going. And Chris, and, and by Jesus, I mean Chrissy. And he took it to a place that you're going to have to pay for to hear. So now let's do an episode about Apollo 13. Uh, let's do an episode about Apollo 13. because we And we're calling the, the segment that we just did for the 25s and ups called Grease Lightning. Because we can't call them kamikazes anymore, which used to cause them. Because, of course, that's inappropriate. Yeah. Even though Japan wanted to wake up the sleeping giant. And we have to just play pretend and forget that the Asians aren't assaulting us. Wait, but Jong-Jan. what can you do? <laughs> um, so, you know, it's just what it is. I'll play the part. I'm I'm a fucking ally. Whatever I'm supposed to fucking say, okay? It's just, I don't fucking know. I can't play pretend for too much longer. So the country's going to have to open back up or you're going to have to make a vaccine because it's really getting hard playing pretend with my, like my fucking daughter. So... <laughs> You can catch Chrissy in, in, in oh, yeah, Long August Island. August 6th yeah. to the 8th. Yeah. August 6th to the 8th, New Jersey Stress Factory. Go to ChristyComedy.com or HistoryInnews.com. August 6th to the 8th, outdoor shows. Nobody's going to get the Rona. Outdoor shows uh, with Vinnie Brand Stress Factory. So the only thing you have to deal with is Vinnie Brand, the owner, doing some time before. But it's just what you have to do. The guy owns a business, but he's a horrific comic that we all just have to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> so keep that in. Yeah. <laughs> Way Jong Jan. So I'll be there. Just keep it in. Just yeah, keep August it the 6th fuck to the 8th. In, yeah. yeah, and obviously I was kidding. I yeah, fucking love I love, the gr- I love all the gr- we love it. We love all the groups. We love it. I love everybody. 40- yeah, when the owner does matter. 45 minutes up top, it's the best. It's the only it's way the to best. headline. That's yeah. what you want to do. You want to have the owner of the club do 45 minutes of jokes that only work in a three block radius in New Brunswick and do crowd work and you know pick up a pay phone that, that doesn't work and then just follow that bullshit until 3 <laughs> o'clock in the morning. But who cares? I mean, yeah. his name's Vinny. He spells it... You know, he doesn't spell Vinny with a Y. You can't trust guys that end their names in an IE like that. So yeah. what can you do? It's nothing you can't do. Nothing you can do. He's, I don't care. It's like you own the club. It's just I got time. I got to do the fucking. I, I got no money coming in. I'm going to do the outdoor shows for the fans. I love it. But I want to deal with him doing 55 minutes of bullshit. And then I'll come up and try to clean up the mess. But it's, you know, I'll probably bomb. But it, the truth is it doesn't matter. Then I'll go and fucking get yelled at by the situation. But whatever. We'll just do it. I'm happy with my life. Things are going good. Things are yeah. going good. We got to just keep all this in. It's too much gold. I apologize. I know that we'll never work at the stress factor again. Who but cares? Good. The, yeah. That's a sign of a good career. Yeah, the thing is that's a sign of a good career that we're, I think we're clear of now because of you guys. So, yeah, so I mean, thank you're you. doing good. I mean, I don't know if I'm ever going to go back to the stress factory, but I no, love I'm it. I'm happy to it. be going back and getting paid way less than I deserve, but what can you do? What can you do right now? It doesn't matter. Apollo 13. I okay? just fell asleep for 20 minutes and I I feel worse than I did before. Is that what happens when you get older? You take a nap yeah. yours? I can't breathe out of my nose. It's too hot in here. I need more water. Something it's just yeah, we're going to get some water and we'll put it in the ala mugs. Um, yeah, V, we'll hand these off because, yeah, God forbid, we don't want to show anybody your, yeah, we don't want to show anybody, V. But listen, Apollo 13, okay, it's a wild movie. I'm sure you guys have saw in the movie Apollo 13 with Tom Hanks, who is a known pedophile and did get coronavirus. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> according to the internet. So, I mean, by the way, Apollo 13, let me just fucking tell you fuckers something right now. Apollo 13, we're going to do the episode about that. And it's very interesting because we have started a new show on patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys called Conspiracy Cuties. And we will be doing a conspiracy episode that ties into Apollo 13 and ties into how the Nazis tied into Apollo 13 and space travel. So you're going to want to see that. We're going to put that up soon. But getting back to the movie, Tom Hanks, Gary Sinise, Bill Paxton. Now, who's dead? Gary Sinise or Bill Paxton? Which is the one who died? Neither one of them are dead. I think one of them's dead. All of everyone's still alive. I don't know where you got that. Absolutely, cut. Never forget if there's one thing you gotta love, it's Allah. Never forget that. He's the guy that keeps you protected, you know, from all you gotta do. That's the thing. You ever find yourself in trouble with the woke dope mob, with any, you know, big time lefties? Just say you love Muslim people and they leave you alone. That's just what it is. That's yeah. the little truth right there. 
So we got that. They can say whatever they want, but we got the I love Allah mugs. Yeah, and so today's episode's about and I love uh, I hop Omar. Shout out to you doing a great job. You're doing a great fucking job, I hop Omar. Um, today's episode's about uh, Apollo 13. You can listen to this episode, or you could just go fucking watch the movie with Tom Hanks. Yeah, it's what it is. Just It tells you everything you want to know about the fucking no, thing. No, but it does. There's a couple it, white guys went into space, and they had some yeah, problems, and they landed. Absolutely. And yeah, and if they would have had a one person of color out there, it would have worked out better. So it's really the problem that it's a white... It, so that's what it is. The three white astronauts going out into space was the reason why it failed. So, so. Wei Zhong Zhan. Can we get some Wei Shou Chi? Or what yeah, should we do? Do we I have don't to start know. over? I don't know what we do. I don't know what we do. Have we gone off track? We're still no, barely we're still on track. Because okay. we're, we're just right. kidding. We're just joking. We're just, I mean, I'm fucking kidding around. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, you know, it's like if people don't think I'm an ally to your community, I mean, I love every fucking group of people. I mean, I'm out there on the street sucking dicks to prove I'm an ally. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm out is, there with the I love Allah mugs to prove I'm an ally. I mean, I'm having children outside my race to prove I'm an ally. I mean, what do you want me to do? It's like, so what? I fucking push a couple of Chinese people into some garbage. What do you want me to do? Yeah, you can't. It can't be good all the time. Yeah, it can't be good all the time. Even kidding. Superman's got to take a fucking nap once in a while, and that's when a couple of Chinese get pushed in garbage. I'm kidding. No, I love the Chinese people. No, I got a fucking joke. crazy. Wei I'm just kidding around. I love yeah. Chinese people. I genuinely. That's the thing with being from New York. Even though I know somebody on our Patreon hates when we say this, the truth is, being from New York, it's very, very hard to be actually racist. You can make racist jokes, but to truly hate someone because they don't look like me is like it's impossible in New York City. Yeah, and I'm just kind of tired. I'm just kind of <sighs> sick of fucking. I'm just kind of sick of talking and thinking about it. It's like, you know, most people are just fine. Most people are just normal people, and God. we're just living our lives. It's like, what do you want me to tell you? Chicken cheesesteak wrap, and I got the itis. So, yeah, and how just, can I be a racist with the itis? And it's what it is, and it's just like one of those things where. Do, it's am like, I, do I make a good point? Yeah, it's like somebody, somebody. It's like people just wanna, people just wanna. Talk shit on my Instagram the other day. I posted a picture of me with a filter, what I would look like as a woman. And some people were saying they'd crack me open. I appreciate that. But some college 22 year old girl was like, really great job making fun of trans people with this picture. It's like, I'm not making fun of trans people. Okay. Yeah. I'm saying this is what I'd look like if I was trans. And guess what? The trans community accepted it. It's only people who are actually afraid of these others are the ones who will comment on the pictures saying that I'm the one making a mistake because you're actually the one who's racist and transphobic and all those problems. I'm not. So that's why I just tuck it back and then I post pictures of myself wearing gay as fuck t-shirts holding I love Allah mugs because guess what I love everybody I'm not scared of anybody because I just think I don't care what you look like on the outside I judge a book by what's on the inside you heard you don't judge a book by its cover and that has stuck with me since my sixth grade teacher sister on Mary told me do not judge a book by its cover so guess what I don't I see human beings and I say we're all red on the inside we all we're all bleeding we got bleeding red hearts I have a bleeding red white and blue heart but even if you don't have a bleeding red white and blue heart I still love and respect you okay yeah and if you come to Bay Ridge and you see people walking around with masks, there's about a 77% chance that mask has an American flag on it. It's what it is. You, in Bay Ridge, you're going to see two type. You're going to see American flag mask and you're going to see New York Yankees mask. That's just what it is, okay? And then you, Williamsburg, you'll see masks with fists on them. Or they'll just be one color to support that, and that's fine too. But just know in Bay Ridge, you're just going to see some different kinds of masks. That's what it is. <laughs> Apollo 13 happened in 1970, guys. Wow. Here's the thing what I want to tell you about. Here's what I want to talk to you about, Okay. The last... I think you just talked to me about all the things you wanted to talk to me about. It's what it is, Cut. Sounds like you've been holding a lot in. You're cooped up, Chrissy, and you just let it... Fu you just went all the way fully charged. I'm fully charged. I'm an FCF, a fully charged... So it's what it is, yeah. okay? So, and... and but the interesting thing about the Apollo 13 mission and all Apollo missions is the first time we go to the moon is 1969. The last time we go is 1971. If you would have told my 16-year-old mother at the time in 1971 that, hey, babe, in 2020, you're, you're not going to have went to the moon again in that span, she would have been like, you're crazy. She would think that there'd already be a fucking Carvel on the moon yep. by 2020, and we haven't went back. As a matter of fact, we're probably going to go to Mars within the next five years and bypass the moon. I guess the, the public felt after the, the, the reason why Apollo 13 is so important is because it almost killed everybody. It, it spooked Richard Nixon to, to, fund the, to fund NASA, and it spooked the rest of the world to be like, why do we want to go there in the first place? So if Apollo 13 never happened, um, thank God the astronauts came back alive, we probably would be colonized the moon by now. Maybe we would have, but I don't know if you could really colonize the moon and live on the moon or, or you know, because it's a moon. We could do whatever we want. We could do whatever we want because you know, we we're used American. used to call me Chrissy the astronaut? Didn't people used to make memes and call me an astronaut? It, do you remember why? Some, yeah, I can't remember why. Do you remember because you were out there or 
reality is a suggestion kind of thing, or we don't remember? I don't fucking it remember. Was, I remember you floating around. I think yeah. I said something about how you're floating around or something, yeah. and they threw you in an astronaut uniform. I mean, you've had 177 nicknames. It's what it is. I don't think you even remember which one you are. Yeah. I mean, sometimes they all come out. I mean, it's what it is, because it's what it is. It's fucking what it is, cuz. Yeah. What, what, what did we say before? You're a kid who likes to stick and move. I like to stick and move. I don't like to be in a place too long. I like to come in and come out. So you had a great suggestion because I want to buy a house in the country, but you said to get used to the country, I should at least Airbnb a spot for a month. Yeah, because they think you in the country, uh, you should. I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah. Because you're a kid who needs to be close to a bag of bagels. Yeah, I'm kidding. The, the two things that I need the most is I need... Tortellinis. I need tortellinis. I need four bedrooms for my family and one bathtub for the out, expert, for the out member of my family, and I need shed space. Because I need shed space because there's a member of my family that likes to do things in the shed. So I need extra shed space. Yeah, well, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, we're getting, the, the poor kid just got the mixer so he wouldn't have to edit. And now we're making him edit. Yeah, it's so really it's fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for the first time, we got the kid the fucking mixer. Yeah. So he's sitting there. He's fucking editing it while we're going. And yeah. we go, no, babe. Guess what? Well, here's the thing. We're going to make you go back and edit shit out. Here's the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Here's the thing. Welcome to the history hyenas, babe. Here's the thing is you got two options. If you work for us, you can either do the work and do what we tell you, or you could fucking call us privately and complain, and then you get fired by Mrs. DiStefano. <laughs> Because she's the head of HR. She's the head of HR. And by Mrs. is definitely, I mean, you'll do it, but you'll do it. Co you got coached by your mom. I got coached by you my mom. You got coached by your mom on how to fire somebody. Guys, make no mistake. My mother's been an HR manager for 35 years. She's the sweetest woman, sweetest Reese's Pieces. But when she taught me how to fire someone, when we had to fire an employee of the show, she did it swift and hard, and it hurt my feelings. I felt like she fired me as her son. What she's wanted to do a few times with some of the decisions I've made. <laughs> <laughs> that is what you call for sure. Now you make because it's just what it is. I need to cool off. Yeah, we need to cool off, and I need to fucking just cool off. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just cool off while we can, guys, because I'm coming in too hot. So we needed to cool myself off, and I may have just ruined the four hundred dollar West Elm shirt. Four hundred dollars, the thing's fucking a thousand dollars. That's a thousand dollars. It probably couldn't get wet, but because if it could survive one of my fucking Chrissy Well farts, it could survive a little H two O. Yeah, I mean we are fucking because we're out to space this episode, and it is a nice thing. <laughs> yeah, we're out in space, and it feels good to be out here because because I just listen to be in the vacuum is because would you go to space? The truth of the situation is I would not go to space because I'm scared of heights. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you if they said you had to go to space and you had to go with uh, the weather girl, the situation, whichever one it is. No, the weather girl. The we don't approve the situation. Yeah, you've said the, the situation. You've said the situation. The the I, I didn't mean to say that, so yeah. we will just we'll edit that out. We'll put Puerto Rican flags over my mouth for the yeah, situation. Yeah, we'll do all that. Yeah, because we'll I can't have her hearing that. You cannot hear her. Is she listening? Who the fuck of your family is doing reconnaissance against us? I I'm don't know. not worried about the Russians. I'm worried about what family member of yours is Yeah, I don't know us. if she's listening, but I could go to the local Banco Popular and see if there's some $10 charges. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd know. So, but you bring up an interesting point. Yeah, after they only went, what was it? There was an Apollo 11 was the first one. Right. Then there was the 12, and then there was the 13. So, so we, yeah, because there we, was three missions that went to the moon. We started throwing people into space around 1957. They fucking were, catapulted them up we there. We catapulted up there. They fucking made it onto the list. We threw them up into space. The first man ever in orbit was a fucking Russian dirty cosmonaut, um, and he went up. His name was Yuri uh, Gagarin, um, and that was April 12, 1961. So from 1961 to 1971 is when we did some heavy lifting with space because we were trying to beat the Russians, but they kind of beat us. Yeah, well, this was the beginning of the Cold World uh, War right after World War II uh, when we beat, defeated Germany. The United States and Russia knew, hey, we're going to be competing. We're going to be hating each other. So they both started competing for Nazi scientists. Right. They didn't give a shit about what the politics were. They just needed some minds to help people yeah. catapult people into well, space here's because we know we needed the rocket technology to fight each other. Yes. And the rockets were being used to put people on the moon. So it was really just a race to the moon, which no, they did nothing and nobody really benefited because no. if you go to the moon and you just stand up there, nothing happens. Nobody cares. I mean, if you're just orbiting, even getting to Mars, it's like, what's the point? There's no, you have to make life there. Life yeah. doesn't exist for us there. But, but that's an interesting thing that we're going to talk about on Conspiracy Cuties uh, after the show is the V2 rocket, which was designed by the Nazis, was the first object that humans ever 
broke through the atmosphere and put into space. And the man who pressed that button, who pressed the actual button to press launch for the V2 rocket to go into space, was a little guy by the name of Adolf Hitler, who's Deshaun Jackson's favorite person from history. <laughs> <laughs> Which it is. Can we just, let's just put the AC on and can we just deal with it? It's way too fucking hot. Is it too hot? Well, yeah. I cooled off. I mean, because you could just put a little a la water on you and get baptized I in the know. faith. Because you got it to, V, did Gary Sinise or Bill Paxton die? One of them died from Apollo 13 in real life. We nope. got to find out who it is. None of them is dead. You know what's funny? Is that when these guys were in their capsule trying to make it home, it was so cold. It was like living in a refrigerator for days. Right. It's just a little hot in here, and I can't handle it. That's how much of a bitch we've become. Because make no mistake, I would love, 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 love to have been on Apollo 13 when it got real cold in there because I'm a kid that I love the cold and I hate the heat. I, know I die a little bit in the heat. But you couldn't do it. It was, it, it was so cold, it was like living in a refrigerator. The problem is for me in space is I couldn't go if if I would go into space if and only if throughout one of the mirrors I could always see earth in the distance and it was always pointed right at New York City and if I had some black and white cookies up there I could do it that's the only way you could do it yeah so, so there was a couple white guys that went up there. They had different right. names. What were their names? So, so the, okay, so Jim Lovell was who was played by Tom Hanks. He was forty two years old. Forty two years old at the time of space flight. I believe he is still alive today. Then we had Fred Hayes, who was the lunar module pilot, and he was thirty five years old. The exact age is Chrissy Chaos. So this kid was thirty five years old going to space, and I'm thirty five years old doing a podcast from the fourth floor of an apartment in Bay Ridge. Because what are we doing? So there's a little bit of a difference. <laughs> what are we going to do for our birthdays this year? Because if you want to go to fucking space? The last four years for my birthday, I've done one one of two things. Either went to the Renaissance Fair or Medieval Times. So now, unfortunately, because I can't do either one of those things, what I'd like to do for my birthday party with you is I'd like to come up to your house because you've got a lot more property, and then we'll get some, I'll bring some pizza and shit from, 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 from New York, and maybe we'll just go back in time on YouTube. Maybe we'll go, we'll go back to like ancient Egypt or ancient Greece on a YouTube tour, and they'll make it all like CGI shit, and we'll do that. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's a real good idea. The thing that was so tragic about this mission was these kids really wanted to put their feet on the moon, and they never got a chance to actually yeah. put their feet on the moon. They had to circle around right. it, and they used the orbit of the moon to propel them back because these guys almost died, but they did it because they were American. They were American kids, and the third person on the Apollo uh, mission uh, was Jack Swigert. And the interesting thing about Jack Swigert, who was played by, uh, I think he was, the, he was played by Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon uh, who was the guy who played Jack Swigger, and what's very interesting about him is the guy who was supposed to be there, Ken Mattingly, no relation to Donnie Baseball, he was supposed to do it, but he got the German measles. So if you ask, and because he got a case of the measles, he couldn't go into space. So at the last moment, Jack Swigger had to go, and he's the one that fucked up and pressed the button um, that caused an issue. But the issue, but Ken Mattingly, if you ask me, I think Ken Mattingly purposely got the measles because the kid was scared of heights and didn't want to go up into space. If you got the last name Mattingly, it just sounds like you're in good hands, whether right. that person be at first base, behind the wheel of an airplane, or an astronaut. Yeah. Ken Mattingly sounds like a guy who's well-skilled in what his job is. Yeah, so Ken Mattingly gets the measles and can't go, and he was pissed off at first that he couldn't go because, I mean, the kid wanted to go to the moon, but after he saw the drama unfolding, he was like, I'm happy to have two feet on Mother Earth and just be drinking a brew, trying to make believe I'm trying to figure out how to get these fuckers home. I'm just happy I'm not in that goddamn capsule with Tom Hanks. I mean... Talk about the blessing of German measles yeah. and the timing of that. Yeah. Kid, how did Tom Hanks get fucking, how did Tom Hanks get involved in Pizzagate from space? He did it. I mean, That's what people say. Tom Hanks is a pedophile. The internet's wild. The internet is a wild thing. We're on the internet and we're wild. That's why. Because we're wild. We're fucking untethered. So who do we have? We had Fred Hayes, Jack Swigert, who replaced Ken Mattingly. Jack Swigert. And, and who was the other FF? Jack, John Lovell. John Lovell. So yeah. he had three. Jim Lovell. Three John and Jim's the same name, just like Karen and Barbara. Nobody cares you're a fucking dumb white piece of shit with a stupid haircut. Yeah. Nobody cares about you. Make no mistake. We're never going to send another white guy to space. Yeah. Because it's racist. The only thing that you could say about these three is that they were fully charged white guys. These guys fully, were really white guys. Fully charged fucking white guys. And it's just one of those things where we're living in a time now where, you know... We're going to bypass the moon. People gave up on the moon. Apollo 13 kind of caused people to want to give up on the moon. We haven't been back to the moon since 1971. There's no plans to. Instead, Elon Musk is going to take us to Mars. Instead, which I don't see a point in that either, because it's like 
you can't live on Mars surface either. You have to make all this artificial just stuff. Just fucking go to Arizona, and if you that's, want it to be hot, just go there. That's what it is, guy. Yeah, just what it is. It's like Elon. There's Musk. plenty of room in Arizona. We don't need to go to Mars yet. Yeah, just fucking go, Elon Musk. Just forget about space. Just go on Joe Rogan. Build more Teslas. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Yeah. Now, Apollo, here's, the, here's the thing. Apollo 13, when it was launching, everyone was excited about Apollo 11. One, one small step for man, one big giant leap for mankind. A lot of people don't even think it happened. A lot of people think they faked it because the Russians got there first. So they just wanted to show a couple right. months later, hey, we did it too because they were scared of the Russians. But people cared at least about Apollo right. 11th. Nobody cared about Apollo 13. Nobody was watching it. The newscasters weren't broadcasting it. They were doing other stuff. Nobody, nobody even know it went off, really. Nobody, nobody cared. Nobody even cared. They were the, be- the there was news was covering the Beatles breaking up. They were covering That's what whatever. happened. Yeah. Oh, that's a big thing. So the day before they launched, the Beatles had broken up, and that was the big front page news. If the Beatles wouldn't have broken up, maybe Apollo 13 would have gotten more news. Yeah. You know? I mean, Yoko Ono caused a ripple effect throughout history that can't be quantified, really. Yeah. Because she broke up. She broke She was this. She broke up the... I was about to call it... <laughs> of, ...of the Beatles. Yeah. But a different type of situation. But yeah. a different type of situation. We got to yeah. cut all that out. No, we could just put it... Just anytime we say, just put the Puerto Rican cackles. flag over yeah, it. But make sure, yeah, But make sure they can't read the lips because she does have uh, lip reading software technology. She's yeah. done it to me from afar. Yeah. So it's what it is. So... So nobody was covering this thing at At all. all. 55 hours into the mission. So they get off into space. By the way, there was a little kind of ominous shit going on. It's almost like NASA wanted this to fuck up because they launched the mission on, I believe it was April 13th, right, V? But the time was was 13-13. So 1-13-13 in military time. At 13-13, Apollo 13 launched. Oh, it was April 11th, sorry. Launched. So it was all these 13s, which 13 is an unlucky number. For some fucking reason. I don't know why 13 is an unlucky number, but it is. Yeah, just if you want to know if mankind is rational or reasonable, there are no 13th floors in any apartment buildings. It goes from the 12th to the 14th, which is wild. All buildings. Your building has a 13th floor? Nobody does. No. Nobody. The new There's ones no do. 13th row on planes. There's no 13th uh, floor uh, in apartment buildings. And so... NASA was going like, hey, look, man, Apollo 13. Well, there just- shouldn't be 13 because fuck the 13th Amendment, right? Yeah. No, wait, what's the 13th Amendment? Is the 13th Amendment the one that freed the slaves? What's the 13th yeah. Amendment? That's positive. Way John what's Jones. the 13th Amendment? It's a good one. It's a good one. It's good. Oh, oh sl- neither slavery nor... Oh, 13th Amendment. That's what, I'm, that's what I meant to say. The th- we should have 13. We should have 13 on elevators because celebrate the 13th Amendment to the United States, which got rid of slavery. Yeah. So I think we should bring 13 backs on elevators because fuck your superstition about black cats. Let's support black people by putting the number 13 on elevators and the number 13 everywhere to celebrate the 13th Amendment to the United States, even though it's still going on today. Yeah, this is an easy way to remember um, the 13th Amendment. Just remember... Yeah, just remember, I mean, fully charged today, cuz. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, just remember what? Just remember 13 bad. That's why there's no floors or no rows in airplanes. And 13th good, the 13th Amendment, 13th Amendment got abolished rid of slavery. slavery. So that there's, yeah. That, yeah, so it's the yin and the yang. So everyone was superstitious, The the but but NASA was made, thought it was funny and said, hey, we're scientists. We don't believe in that shit. So uh, just to, tr- they were trolling Trolling the idea right. of it being unlucky by launching at thirteen thirteen. And Apollo, they 13, did it on purpose. And Apollo thirteen made when they when they realized that they had a had, had a major issue. The famous Houston, we have a problem, which was actually Houston, we've had a problem. But the movie made it famous, and everyone ran with Houston, we have a problem. Um, was was that was really famous, and that's and and I did a similar thing when I was in Houston. I texted you, Giannis. I said, uh, Giannis, Houston. I just blew a guy. Blew a guy in Houston. That's yeah. right. That is a callback from a long time ago. If you just started listening to podcasts, I blew a guy in Houston. It's what it is. I blacked out a little bit, and sometimes you're just gonna catch one off the uvula when you're down south. Yeah, just get over it. Go back and start listening to read the, the early shirt. Ones. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, so the so the exact Fred Hayes, who was 35 years old, played by. Uh, Gary Sinise said, "Okay, Houston, which that- is oh, which is he's alive. They're all alive, by the way. Okay, nobody, none of them are dead. Nobody's dead. Who's dead? Bill Pax. We still haven't seen Venetia's teeth in a week, in a month, because she's got the mask on because she is wanted by the FBI. Yeah. Go ahead. Swinger died at fifty-one. Yeah, years but old. No, no, I'm no, talking no, about he, the actors. Think some playing of the actors them. died. I think Bill Paxton answered. is dead. No. Oh, Google no. Bill Paxton and Gary Sinise. See if they're alive or dead. Those guys are all fucking alive. I'm telling you, they're not." 
Okay, but here we go. So at first they thought they got hit by a meteor, but that's not what happened. They didn't get hit by a meteor, but make no mistake, in 2020, that would be nice right now to just take a meteor to the face. It would be nice if there was a meteor that came and it was on the side... God had engraved it. No lives matter. Bill Paxton dead February 25th, 2017. Fuck? Kid had a fucking heart attack, unfortunately. Bill Paxton is fucking dead? Bill Paxton died. Yeah, and it's Jesus sad because he's a great freaking actor, the kid Bill Paxton. 61 years old, the kid fucking died. What can you do? He's great in True Lies. Hilarious part in True Lies, which, by the way, we, we, we do owe the Patreon members the True Lies video that is coming shortly. Um, so, yeah, so Apollo 13... What happened was, what, the, what pretty much, the te- there's a lot of technical mumbo jumbo that not even we understand, but we are the Wikipedia sluts and we did figure it out. What happened was, is somebody, when they were testing the ship two weeks earlier from the launch, they had accidentally fried one of the cables that controls the oxygen, not the oxygen that the uh, uh, astronauts were breathing, the oxygen that in somehow in space they use chemical reactions and they make oxygen and nitrogen to make water and to fuel the ship and to power the ship in space. When, when uh, one of the astronauts hit the button to power that down, it caused a, sh- a spark because one of the wires was fucked up and it caused a fire and it blew the heat panel right off the side of the uh, uh, ship into space and caused an issue. And then they, they went down to almost zero oxygen in the cabin and they had to do the entire mission in the lunar module, which was designed for two people to land on the moon. Instead, they had to use that to get home. So 55 hours into the space mission, they realized we are not going to the moon. We now have to go home and whip around the moon and stay in the lunar module, which is designed for two people, but have three people in there and then and then uh, try to get back home. Now, cuz if that was me, you, and a third person, Binky what- Mike. Vicky Mike, what would be our options here? Would you guys, A, would we all just try to make it work in the three of us and try to not breathe as much as we can and just try to stay in the lunar module and make all three of us go home? Or would you, B, kill me and live off my butt for five days when we ran out of food because it froze because we had to turn off the heat inside the lunar module to conserve energy? I think we would kill you and live off your butt. What I, cause there's another option here, is I'm pretty confident I could let you guys eat off my butt like a buffet and also stay alive. So I you got, you, you got, got it. There's enough there that you still enough. have plenty of butt left. Well, if I just said, listen, guys, just fry up my right butt cheek a little bit, the one that has a skin tag on it, yeah. you could be okay. Do you got a skin tag? I got a skin tag on my ass cheek. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. your buns are milky white. No? I got milky fucking white buns, baby. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. I just got a body that falls apart as soon as from the neck down. So what can you do? Because these guys were up there with less technology than we have in an iPhone right now. Is that is that, that actually is the correct. truth? Yeah, that's yes, that's it is. Saying, Their no, computers were not as strong as our iPhones right now. So yeah. the guy had to write down a whole bunch. Uh, one of the astronauts wrote down a whole bunch of calculations to transfer from one computer to another when they went into the other fucking module. And they used they, they they these guys did not panic. This is the they didn't real panic. They really made it happen. They just fucking and made they it. decided to use the gravitational pull of the orbit from the moon, from the moon to set them back on course. Right, and also fucking command center uh, when they needed to figure out how to re-engineer something to produce more oxygen. The engineers at the control center at the command center figured it out, told them what to do, and they right. built it on the fly in space while they were cold and they had fumare. They had their a- actual thing and they had to do. because there was bags of piss flying around everywhere. Bags they couldn't p- get rid of their piss. Did you know that? Yeah, they could. Because if they put the piss out, it would change their orbit. So, they, so the piss bags were just floating, floating around. around. Just floating bags of piss, and they had to figure out li- li- literally how to get a circular tube inside a square hole. So to try to fit a, a, a square inside of a circle, which is what my life is. That's basically a really good analogy. Yeah, is they basically have to just Chrissy D it. You are a kid who just sits there at the square and you, you I just bang you it. Take the circle and you just keep banging. Yeah, thinking it's gonna go in, yeah. but it, it boomerangs back, which is what they were scared of. They thought they were gonna hit the surface of the atmosphere of the Earth yeah. and bounce out, but Tom Hanks saved the day. Truth is, cuzzy, I'm a kid who's shaped like a circle, but I love a square slice. You do like a square. I'm in the mood for a fucking slice. You want a zucchini slice? I want to order it right now. Let's order a zucchini pie with no bacon. I'm vegan again. Yeah, let's get a fucking. Can we order a pie? We get a zucchini pie? No, Benetti's saying no because we're too fat. Why not? You're not too fat. No, Benetti said we're too fat. I'm fucking eating. We're trying to eat eat with your eyes, you four-eyed fuck. No, I want to, I want pizza. I want fucking pizza. Gianni, you can't. I also can't breathe. I'm having trouble breathing. I may have the Rona. You may have the Rona. What can you do? 
I mean, Yanni's in a race. I mean, it's crazy because it's like the, the truth is the situation. I want to – let's place bets right now. Who's going to gain more weight in the pregnancy, Yanni or his wife? I think I already have. <laughs> I mean, this is not a flattering angle for me on this podcast. Cuz, but you know what? You got a fucking nice cock. I got <laughs> – I do have a really handsome piece. You got a handsome piece? I do. My yeah. piece is really, really handsome. Yeah, my piece has got some battle scars, but it's in good shape right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's the here's the the thing is the thing is, you know, with the if you want fucking issues, then the Apollo 13 mission is for you. Okay? The Apollo 13 has got some issues, it's got some things to figure out. It's known to most as the Chrissy D mission. Because it's got some things to figure out. It's got some things to figure out. It went with good intentions, and yeah. it just it didn't work out the way that the astronauts planned. So let me tell you the issues here. So the first issue we explained to you is they're running out of oxygen. So they solved that problem by going into the lunar module, which has its own oxygen supply. The next issue, carbon dioxide. But the lunar module, it, it, bears, it bears emphasizing the lunar module was only designed to be lived in on the moon. On the moon, and yeah. only designed for two people. We have three. Yeah, so the next is telling me to sit up because yeah. I look too fucking fat. Yeah, the thing is, what we're going to do is play well, a little game. I look game. jacked in the arms still. Yeah. We're going to crop out. We're going to crop out. You got out. sweat everywhere and water all it's over water you. on my tits. Yeah. It's a wet t-shirt contest. Because the history hyenas, we're fucking hyenas, we're back. Here's what we're going to do is we're going to crop out a picture of Yanni laying like that. We're going to crop out a picture of his stomach, and then we're going to ask Mrs. Pop to post a picture of her stomach, and we're going to have to guess who's who. <laughs> it's what it is. Who's preggy? <laughs> You're a hairy guy, and I like that, Bubba's. And there's three things that three things only I like to put in my mouth, and that's fingers, toes, and balls. And I like to just get those things. I don't like when there's a lot of hair on them. So what Manscaped has done now is they've created the Shears 2.0 nail kit. It shaves your balls, your fingers, and your toes. Yeah, I mean, I'm a kid who used to be hairy because I use this. Listen, it's quarantine time. You can't get out to the salon, so... This is an especially good time to get yourself a kit at home to groom yourself down. Nails, hair, body, fumare. Fumare. Listen, if you're a guy out there or a woman who's from Greece, you need the Shears Nail 2.0 kit because you're hairy, hairy people. Yeah, you get it. It's got uh, the Shears 2.0 is a luxury four-piece nail kit featuring tempered stainless steel tools, and it includes slash tip tweezers, rounded pointed scissors, fingernail clippers, and a medium grit nail file cuz you get to really groom yourself down be a man do it yourself like That's what men do pull yourself up by your own bootstraps and fucking trim those nails cuz i got wild ball hairs that come up off my testicles so i can use i can use things in the in the 2.0 kit my toes especially my hammer toes even though they grow over each other they do have bits of hair and they're been times where I don't want to put sandals on because my hammer toe is a little hairy, and now I can use the Shears 2.0 nail kit and shave my toes. Yeah, thank God now there's a kit that's designed for men to groom. Women, they have so many things right. that they can groom themselves with. The thing about Manscapes, they understand men are simple. They want it all in one, and they want you to tell you exactly how to use this stuff. So, boom, there it is. Fix your nails, fix right. your balls, fix your life. Fumes. The good news for you is you're going to be able to shave your finger when you do find your wedding ring. It's going to be a smooth <laughs> ride onto it because right now it's a little hairy. And all you got to do, all you got to do if you want to get the Shears 2.0 nail kit is go to manscaped.com and use the promo code Hyenas, H-Y-E-N-A-S, and you will get 20% off by using that code plus free shipping. So it's a guarantee you need to do it for summer. You got to have no fumade. So, so it's what it is. Um, so the next issue they had after the issue we just mentioned was carbon dioxide was now building up in the spacecraft and they needed lithium hydroxide canisters to filter carbon dioxide. You cannot breathe in so much carbon dioxide. You get poisoned, you get lightheaded, you pass out and black out. And that's, as Tim Dillon would say, not good. Not if good. You pass out in space. Not good. That's how people actually kill themselves in their garage. Yeah. They turn on their car and then the carbon monoxide kills that's them. That's good to know. Yeah. Is that carbon dioxide you said? That's carbon dioxide, but what happened? Is, is oh, I'm saying carbon monoxide, but it all turns into the same thing. Yeah, so you're you're the doc. Is what am I saying? You're a doctor. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. Yeah, carbon dioxide. Yeah, it's the same problem. You're gonna the same issues. Carbon dioxide levels will go up so high that it turns gaseous and turns into monoxide. So they had the carbon dioxide filters, but the problem was they had square pegs and not the round ones. They needed to filter the carbon dioxide out. So that's where they came up with the on the ground in NASA on the ground came up with the, it was, they just used duct tape and parts they had in the ship to basically make a square peg fit into a circle hull. Yeah. And they did that. And then they relayed the message through space right. 
to the ship, told them how to build it. They built it, and it was able to continue to save their lives. Just one of the many things that had to go right in order for these white boys to make it back to the States. And thank God they did. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so it's what it is. Thank God they did. As soon as they finally landed in that module after 55 plus hours in space, knowing that they were going to die, as soon as they got out, they fucking got down on one knee and kneeled for that national anthem. Yeah. <laughs> They did, and they got back down, <laughs> and they just put on some probably some Jimmy Buffett, yeah. had an apple pie, yeah. and s just sang Sweet Caroline because they were just three white boys. It's what it is. They only made it back to space. They only made it back from space alive because of their white privilege. So <laughs> what can you do? Yeah. Yeah. So um, the white privilege helped them in this in this Absolutely. Case. Yeah. They didn't have to deal with a lot of things, and they were able to but figure it out. we do recognize that they, they're right. Re 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 we do recognize. What's the problem? Yeah. The next, next issue after that after they fil figured out the lunar module oxygen issue, then they figured out the carbon dioxide issue. Then they needed a new course of correction because the angle they were coming in at from the moon, they were going to skip off Earth's atmosphere. So as I understand it, it was like a rock skipping off the water. If they didn't hit it at this exact right angle, it wouldn't penetrate. They would penetrate because you it's have like when you're trying to get into the trying to get into the vag and you slip and hit the belly button and you slip and hit the belly button or slip and hit the butt, which I've done a few times because I got a little dick. The girl doesn't know the difference. Yeah. So. So it's just, and they would penetrate off and skip off into space, which is also not good. So they had to get this at the exact right angle. And as Yanni was saying, at the time, they didn't have the technology. And especially in that exact spacecraft, they didn't have the technology to be able to have the eyes of on the ground helping them. They had to eyeball this shit themselves, where they actually were looking out the window and trying to guesstimate the exact right angle, looking at planet Earth on what to do. Yeah. And that's a real dramatic part of the movie, too. Yeah. Where they're trying to figure out. That's the time they had to do that by hand to figure it out and they got it they yeah. figured it out despite the fact that it was there was no diversity in the cockpit yeah there's no they still were able to because tom hanks always finds himself in this situation he does i mean some movies he's in outer space he can't get back that some movies he's on an island by himself and then some movies he's dying of aids yeah but <laughs> you know he's always got a situation tom hanks is the guy tom hanks is oh, the new situation other movies, other movies he's got corona i mean the kid is always in something the kid's always and in his the wife is greek yeah the kid's always in a situation, but he's Tom Hanks. He always finds a way out of it. And then what happened is they waited for the exact right moment. We were told that they had eight-second window to fire off and shut down their engines in the, inside the lunar module. They had this tight, tight window at the exact right moment, so they fired it down so that the gravitational pull would take them into the atmosphere and they would be able to land safely on Earth and... They, they did it, and they landed in the South Pacific Sea in, some, in what some people would call enemy territory. Yeah, and um, they had to do a lot of things that they practiced in simulations and never thought they would ever have to do, and they did it, and they did it well. It's That's like Charles Sully. When Charles Sully was able to land yes. a plane after the, after the geese hit it, these guys are like the Charles Sullys. But they did it from space, which is wild. I mean, what yeah. these guys did... And the coordination, the communication between command center and them and how they were able to really uh, guide them back in and that they and that they lived is just a testament to America when America was great. When, yeah, we're not anymore. We're not anymore because and the truth is we didn't have the help of the Russians at this time because Russia and the United States, despite the Cold War, were putting their heads together to try to kind of get into space and, and loaning each other's technology. But after... Sorry. After, JFK. After JFK was assassinated, the Russians backed away and weren't helping the United States at all. As a matter of fact, now, the, we don't have a space shuttle. The Americans do not have a space shuttle. The only way for American astronauts to get into space is to do it from Russia. Yeah. Russia is the only, only vehicle to get to space right now. They do it, I believe, in Kazakhstan. Yeah, we just... The, the public opinion on going up to the moon really turned after this going, hey, guys, what are we paying all these tax dollars for to send these boys up there to risk this for what? So you can get a dirt sample? We yeah, get it. It's a it. fucking satellite. It's a yeah. rock. And it gives us it gives us a little light during the nighttime to kiss people on the lips. Yeah. That's all we need That's to know about the do. moon. And even going to Mars. And it's, it's made like, out of cheese. We get it. Yeah, it's even going to Mars. It's like, well, fucking, come on, dude. It's like, we're gonna, it's I, a red I don't planet. even care. It's There's a red planet. There. We get it. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Just, yeah, you know, just as long as the police aren't getting money. So it's... <laughs> <laughs> That's the most important part about the whole thing. As long as the cops get nada, then we're fucking good to go. Yeah. So we could go to Mars. But um, so the men were freezing. They were sleep deprived and they were dehydrated. Everybody was covered in like these droplets of water from the condensation. Um, they had Which no that condensation also was a problem because 
Uh, If it got behind the control panel, the ship wouldn't power up again, but it did because Jesus was behind the wheel. Jesus was behind the wheel, and make no mistake, Mrs. Stefano was saying a lot of prayers for them, and they made it. Also, the other thing is they had no heat shield. The heat shield had blown off. So NASA knew down on the ground in in Houston, they were really, they had almost 100% certainty that they would burn in space, but they didn't want to tell them that because they, just in case there was a 1% chance that they wouldn't burn alive, they wanted to take it, and guess what? They didn't fucking burn alive. These guys stayed calm, and when you hear interviews with them after the fact, excuse me, which you can watch, that's what they said. They didn't never thought about the option of death. They never considered it. They never talk, thought about their families to each other. They may have done it privately. But they really, really got right. hyper focused, and that's why you send the best and the brightest up there because these boys were highly trained, right? Highly brave, right? And they they rose to the occasion and handled the call. They handled, and that's like the professionals that you want them to become. Like there's been times where I've called Lukash, my daughter's godfather, who's an ER doctor. Like you know, one time, you know. Uh, one time, uh, the weather girl burned her feet with boiling hot water. One time, Delilah swallowed a fucking How rat she poison pill. With, she dropped a, a bowl of tortellini on her feet, hot burning. She, she was lifting them, and then one she, fell. And she one fell. Yeah, she was doing a workout with boiling hot water, and one of them fell on her feet. Um, and 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 uh, and he was so calm on the other on the phone. He's like, "It's okay. This is what you're gonna do. This, this, and this." And then I was like, "You have to go to the emergency room." He's like, "She might, but it's okay." Where I was fucking freaked out. Yeah. So like these guys, like you know, doctors and pilots and astronauts they all know they all know how to just remain calm because if you the only thing we know how to do to remain calm is to tell jokes on stage yeah we're a couple of ffs that's the the only way we can stay calm and say hey don't worry about it i'll be able to go up on the stage and talk to these people and make them giggle yeah and that's it that's kind of a silly little skill that nobody cares about yeah that's kind of it so these kids made it back. They were rescued by the... Because three cute kids, no? Yeah. With fucking strong jawlines. Strong fucking I mean, fucking those jaw- kids from the 70s had strong... Venetia, take a peek at three those three hotties and tell me if they weren't from Jamaica, if you wouldn't marry them. Yeah, no, seriously. Those... Venetia, make no mistake, would have jumped off the USS Iwo Jima, which is the vehicle that picked them up from the South China Sea. And punched Mike in the face. She would have punched Mike in the face and she would have gotten them out of that capsule and the first question would have been, are you Greek? Hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, are those three cute kids right there? Yeah, I like. Binky, that. can we throw that up somewhere? Like the kid. Look at these kids. They're right. Where can we put them? We'll they put them in it. post. Yeah, put it in post. They're three strong jawline looking kids. And like anything else in life, everything's always attached to the Greek. The logo for the Apollo thirteen mission insignia depicted the Greek god of the sun Apollo with three horses pulling his chariot across the face of the moon and the earth, seen in the distance. It was meant to symbolize the Apollo flights, bringing the light of knowledge to all people. The mission motto: Ex Luna Scientia. Yeah. So. They finally made it back. Their wives were happy. Um, who knows? Do you think the 13 jinxed this? It, the 13 might have jinxed What's us. The, when did the 13 being a jinx, when did that start? Yeah, I don't know. I which, act- which person started that? Why did it start? Why are we all scared of 13? I don't know. But would I, you sit in the 13th row if they had it? You would. You don't care. I don't care. You're very I, much a science guy. Because I just go... I do know that when these Apollo, it was 1971, so when these Apollo 13 astronauts came back, if their wife gave them any lip, they would have gotten one to the face immediately. <laughs> so that's just what, unfortunately, that's the America that women had to live in back then, is the women would get disciplined if they gave any lip, and it's just not how we live anymore. So it's just the truth. It's not how we live anymore. And now that's why we have chaos. Yeah. That's why, because like it's just, it's listen, one of the astronauts, I can't remember which one of the three, uh, when asked what he said to his wife when he returned, he actually did say, you can't live without me, which is hilarious. That's hilarious. That's yeah, hilarious. it's just yeah. what it is. That's back when fucking men were men. Men, yeah. And he's, he was right. You can't live without me because you can't lift boxes on your own, you weaker human. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. It was fucking Jack Swigger. It was Jim Lovell. Yeah, it was Jim Lovell who told his wife, without me. you can't live without me. And he probably said broad at the end of that. Broad. It was 1970. He's like, you can't live without me, broad. I mean, Jack Lovell is still alive. I don't know why we don't have him on the Zoom right now. Yeah, we should get him on the Zoom. Um, After two months of a report, they, they found out what the problem was, and it was all indications are that an electrically initiated fire in oxygen tank number two in the service module was the cause of an accident, along with not having a person of color in the cockpit. That and, or you can, <laughs> we do know it was probably George Soros had something to do Absolutely. with it. Absolutely. It was, it, was, it was either Antifa or George Soros or something. Hillary Clinton did kill one of the pilots right before 
they entered the lunar module. There's no question <laughs> it had something to do with so it. So it's what can you do? It's just the truth of the situation is this, is reality is a suggestion. And uh, Apollo 13, if you really want to get the full story in the right context, then just go watch the movie. But can you, yeah, can you believe, the, imagine like, these guys were men, man. And like, imagine like me and you on the road somewhere and we ran out of gas. Yeah. Or like we were going to get close to running out of gas. We probably wouldn't even make it to a gas station yeah. without calling uh, Rotor Rooter or yeah, whoever call comes Rotor, to fix cars. Because the thing, the only reason why, let alone I, getting back from around the moon to home. Because the only reason why I truly couldn't go into space is because if you don't give me an option to call my mother and ask her what to do, I can't do anything. Yeah. So I would have had to but ask do, my mom. You call your mom and you ask her what to do, and then she tells you, and you do the complete opposite. Yeah, it's just what it what, is. It's just what happened. Yeah, I just say, Ma, you're making really good sense, but I live life in what's known as the fast lane, yeah. so give me a black and white, fully charge me, and get me out there to somebody's asshole. Yeah, because if your life was a highway, it would be the German Autobahn. I'd be the Autobahn. There is no speed limit you can only go too slow you can never too fast <laughs> you can't go too slow because you sold your apartment you lived there for 13 minutes i sold my apartment to a chinese national it's what it is they offered straight cash because <laughs> the government is subsidizing uh citizens of china to buy real estate in new york and not occupy it and i was against it but then when they came in with 10 g's over the asking price in full cash money i said i'm gonna take it Absolutely. <laughs> Wei Zhang yeah, There you go. It's what it is. I mean, you, I mean, Binky Mike, uh, the poor kid. I mean, we just got the mixer, and he figured he would be able to have this episode ready right after we're finished. But uh, to yeah. no avail. Chrissy came out firing it. Firing, cuz and Mike instead. Of, and listen, I've never start, I've never done a podcast thirteen seconds after I woke listen, up from a nap. Mikey, instead of instead of putting the Chinese flag over the rant I just did, just. Put all, you know, make sure you block out my mouth so they can't read my lips, but just put an egg. <laughs> do that. Yeah, and then That's just all do you that. Do. <laughs> yeah. That's all you got to do. Yeah. And then that's the same thing. <laughs> Yikes! That one you got to fucking. <laughs> that one you have to just fucking. You might have to fade to black on that one or fade to white. Whatever it is, I don't want to be negative. Full edit on that as well. We need a full edit. Sorry. We. What, this is just once in a while, Chrissy goes absolutely berserk. <laughs> yeah. it, it, you're going to have to do some edits. That one has yeah. to be edited. I mean, James Mattern is texting me. It's like, Bubba, it's coming. We've got to stop giving him more things to edit. I okay, mean, we've really got to yeah. take, we got to take, we got to uh, take. Uh, fucking let's say the yeah, episode. Let's yeah. get to our Patreon yeah. members. Thanks for listening. Okay. Uh, yeah. Don't forget, I'm going to be August 6th to the 8th at the uh, New Brunswick Stress Factory in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Go get tickets, ChristyComedy.com. August 6th, I will have Mike Suarez opening for me. Uh, and August 7th and 8th, Vinny Brand, the owner of the club, will be doing some time. So just, you know, yeah. we just have to deal with that. There's just we'll certain things you got to deal with where it's just, you know, what can you do? What can you do? All right, let's get to some Patreon names. As always, uh, yeah. Patreon.com, we encourage you to join up. Join the matriarchy. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Sorry, slash Bay Ridge Boys to watch Weppa in the morning. Uh Conspiracy cuties, no nets, bonus episode, all types of content. We appreciate it. Go sign up. We encourage you to do a funny name, and we offer every week. Whoever has the funniest name wins the PPW. Let's see who it is this week. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Uh, let me just open up the list real quick. Um, and yeah. These lists are nice and short now, which is Well, nice. not yet. We're Shorter. getting to them being nice and short. We're catching up now. We're just catching up. But we don't want to be sure. We want people to join the matriarchy, but it is nice, you know. It is nice to be able to do less than No, because we want people who really want to be here. So yeah. the people who are coming on now really want to be here, and we appreciate that. Yeah. Um, so first and foremost, uh, for, we'll start off the list with Amanda Rodriguez. Welcome to the matriarchy. Jordy White Sauce on my monkey while I move it to that squeak. Tom Hardy, it's a character actor on my piece, de Blasio. <laughs> <laughs> on the list. On the list. Yeah, Venetia highlighted that one as I was reading it. She knew it was on the list. Yes. Jake Harrison. Then we got Pre Fontaine. Then we got Maddie, Skinny Fatty. My girl is Philly Italian, but Yanni is Papa and Chrissy is Daddy. Um, Drex. Shane Cavanaugh. Anthony Raul. Nunya Bidness. Oh, Nunya Bidness. Nice. Nice. I like that. Yeah, it's a good one. Patrick Sheehan. Then we got Here Goes My PhD. I'm, here Goes My PhD. I'm a fucking stupid kid. Joe Rogan, shut the fuck up and take your shirt off. Nice. Uh, that's funny. You're getting a PhD. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we got wide, we got wide ranges of intelligence on yes, here. Yes, we do. Then we got Louis Green, Jamie Ford, Zach Steele, Liam DiPietro. That's a fucking, that's an Irish and Italian kid. Uh, then we got make no mistake. COVID was created in AOC's vagina and mass produced by the Democrats. Trump 2020. Wei Zhongzhan. List. 
it's yeah, we don't condone it, but it's list for funny points. James. Then we got Jamie Ragusa. Uh, Ragusa is a funny last name because it's an Italian last name and it ends in USA. It's Ragusa. always funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Then we got uh, Camila Potrapiluk, uh, probably po- nice Polish lady. Yeah. Then we got Chris, BRFC123. Uh, then we got Mike didn't quit. He got catapulted over the wall out of 14. Kid has an inside scoop. That's yeah. Then we got the 12-quarter kid, but make no mistake, I ain't no $3 bill. Uh, <laughs> Drexler. Then we got Melinda Villarreal. Uh, Villarreal. Then we got It's Good Guy Steve. Then we got call me a slope and I'll crack you open like a cantaloupe. Make no mistake, I got loud rope fumes. Wei Jong Jan. Is the kid Asian? Is he an Eastern Hemi? I mean, if you call him the slope, does that mean he's an Asian? I mean, don't call me a slope, probably. I mean, what do I do? It's we're funny. moving on. Venetti says we're moving on. We have on. to move on, but it's funny, though. Okay, we're moving on. If you are Asian, we appreciate the last name. If you're uh, Asian, if you're you can not get Asian, away with we it. Don't, we don't you belong it. on the list if you're Asian, but yeah. I can't make that determination. I'm getting. We're getting, yeah, Venetti is making the call. If you're, yeah, if you're not Asian, if you're not Asian, we don't condone, uh, we don't condone that. Yeah. We don't condone that at all. But, but if you are Asian, funny. you can put in a, a, a offer on my apartment and all cash above the asking price. <laughs> um, yeah. Then we got Amanda Orozco. Then we got Jackie tucks it back, but not that far because tiny tomato piece. On the tiny list. Tiny potato piece. On the list. Either tomato or potato, it's funny. Yeah. On the list, he can't go all the way back because his piece is too little. That's what it is. Yeah. That's, that's going to be the winner. That's yeah. the front runner. Then we got Samantha, Brant Bauer, Jeffrey Gray, Jeff McCaffrey. Then we got Jax on the run. Then we got Natalie, Chris Carroll, Daisy Ivers, Megan McConaughey, David Hickey, Corey Jackson, Skin Flute, the Poop Shoot, Non Toot, Cute. Uh, it's a good one. Yeah. Skin Flute, Poop Shoots, you know. Yeah. There's a good one. He's bringing it back because he knows we don't want it. So I'm going to give him a Drexler for that. Then we got Jonesy 11. Then we got 3 out of 10, Namin. Uh, I don't know what that means, but okay. Black kid. Yeah. Appreciate it. Then we got, but I don't know what 3 out of 10 means. Who knows? Not a 10 out of 10. $3 bill out of 10. Oh, 3 out of 10. Got yeah. it. Got it. Got it. Namin. Appreciate yeah. it. Then we got Trevor Lambert, Ronald Pittman. Then we got Chrissy D, a.k.a. Cuckasaurus Rex, in a $3 dress screaming, yas. <laughs> <laughs> Onto the list. Onto the list. Then we got Alexia Hulin. Then we got Benny got a dozen quarters, but Pride Month's almost over. How do I tell my boyfriend I'm straight Kearns? Okay. I like it. It's good. It's interesting. 12 quarter. We got a couple of dozen quarter jokes. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it. I liked it. But I don't think. Yeah. Venetius agrees with me. Not okay. good. Almost. Almost. Then almost. we got Cuzzy Dougie tucks his pseudo pee behind a tree with Chrissy D. Uh, then we got Bu. I'm no baguette monkey, but make no mistake. My name means cute. <laughs> Baguette monkey meaning French kid. I guess French kid. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> Bew. Yeah. I mean, we're yeah. going to Drexler. Bo. 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 Okay. Drexler. 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 Then we got Jesse Carillo. Then we got Yanni Longdays needs a GI Joe endoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> On to the list. A yeah. GI Joe endoscopy. A GI Joe endoscopy. On the list. He gets it. Marshall Connor. Travis Trevino. I mean, Travis Trevino. Uh-huh. Then we got Drew, Paris Conway, Sean Sweeney, Cody Hinshaw, Tyler Foran. Then we got eating Chrissy's bean while Giannis is wanking his crank and his mom used Spanx. <laughs> I like it. Very good, Drax. You Spanx are funny. Yeah, Drexler, Drexler, Drexler. Then we yeah. got Yas. Then we got Robert, Michael McQuelly. Then we got Timmy tucks it back, but the potty waddy makes me go pewing Z. Appreciate uh, it. Jessica Nicole, Aaron Lennon. Then we got $3 Devin. I suck Chrissy in 07, but it's okay. Daddy's dead. Yeah, on the list. Okay, so on, the, on, list. The, on the list. Yeah. And where have you been? Yeah, on um, the list. Uh, then we got Chinese, Japanese, dirty knees on Chrissy D. We don't condone that. Um, then we got Jared Waters. Then we got Jordan. Chrissy banged my girl, but it's okay because I gave her chlamydia the week before to Clerco. <laughs> <laughs> on to the list. On to the list. Yeah. Okay. Then we got... That's uh, what you call a re- revenge name. Yeah, revenge name. Then we got Matthew Volkalik. Uh, Amber popping her Patreon cherry to upgrade from a Chrissy Toot to a screwed in Matrix, just like Papa Yanni Lane. Welcome. Welcome. Then we got uh, Seven with Warts, Sauce Monkey, Trump 2020. Seven with Warts. <laughs> then we got uh, Mikey. I scanned my face at the CVS. Sorry. Mikey, I scanned my face at the CVS self-checkout, and the price came up as $3. Funny. Funny. Matt, a mouth is a mouth when going down south, but Chrissy never called back after Houston because he's an FF. <laughs> then we got Venetifa, Black Lives Matter, toppling statues till they shatter. <laughs> Drexler. Good then one. We, then we got My Chihuahua, Rape My Pitbull. It's what it is. Uh, then we got Texas Made, Suck Your Toes and Eat Your Holes, Hey McConaughey 2020. 
Uh, then we got Willie moving the vegetables and my vote to the right, O'Neilly. Uh, then we got Chrissy and his corn nuts been nutting in dudes' butts. Uh, then we got Luis Martinez, uh, Ku Klux Chrissy in the sheets, steel pipe Chrissy in the streets. Oh, cool. Ku Klux Chrissy in the sheets, steel pipe Chrissy in the streets. Yeah. Uh, then we got Peter Welsh. Then we got James, my wheezy piece has the Rona, fuck you. Very, very good. That's it? Very good. That's it. And now uh, people have been requesting Venetia read off the... Yeah. Winners. What's the so get People to the mic the list. and tell us what those what those uh, nominated on the list names are. Congratulations to the Drexlers as always. Everybody's funny. It's yeah. it's all a game. We appreciate everyone's attempt. Yeah. If you want to go straight to the back and just do a regular name, you're here for the content. We appreciate you. That's- Okay, so Jordy White sauce on my monkey while I move it to that squeak Tom Hardy. It's a character actor on my piece de Blasio. Yeah, okay. funny, funny. Make funny. no mistake, COVID was created in AOC's <laughs> and mass production. You got to read it so people know what it is. <laughs> I make no mistake, COVID was created in AOC's vagina and mass produced by the Democrats, Trump 2020. Uh, <laughs> Jackie tucks it back, but not that far because tiny potato piece. Chrissy um, D, aka Cuckasaurus Rex, in a $3 dress screaming, Yaz. Uh, Yanni Long Days need a, <laughs> needs a GI. Joel. Joel anoscopy. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Uh, Three dollar Devin. I suck Chrissy in 07, but it's okay. Daddy's dead. Jordan Chrissy banged my girl, but it's okay because I gave her chlamydia the week before. Okay, it's it? between that guy and and the uh, tucked it back, but he had a, he couldn't get it all the way back. I'm going tucked it back. I like tucked it back. It's a little potato piece. Yeah, that's the winner. That's PPW, the winner. Congratulations. Congrats. But yeah, the guy who gave the chlamydia just let me know from my doctor's records. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we'll see you next week, everybody. Stay tuned. Also, uh, the Conspiracy Cuties, only on Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys, so make sure you get that. Oh, HistoryHyenas.com, new T-shirts out there. Go get the T-shirts. They are selling like fucking hotcakes. we got Weapon in the Morning T-shirts, Reality is Suggestion T-shirts. Those ones are low, so go get them. Yes, and of course, every morning, Monday through Friday, live or whenever you want to watch it afterwards, whippa in the morning. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you loved it. Don't forget to click subscribe and turn your alerts on. And go to patreon.com slash Boys for more fun where things get really wild.